Hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar and workshop series conducted by TCS in lieu of the upcoming management case study examinations happening in February 2024. My name is Nick, and I'm one of the lead tutors and evaluators for MCS at TCS. So let's look at uh, the session outcomes. Uh, so uh, first things first, I will be providing um, some information pertaining to uh, the overview of the MCS examination. Uh, there could be a set of students who are coming through the exemption route um, and uh, who are part and parcel of this uh, webinar. So you, it's uh, of utmost importance that you understand the technicalities behind the MCS exam. Uh, and um, it's, it's of utmost importance that to understand what you're supposed to do when preparing for your MCS exam. So that's what's covered in the first part of uh, today's webinar. And in the second part, uh, most importantly, I will be providing you with a study plan which spans across the upcoming seven weeks. So if you stick to the study plan, uh, you can easily achieve a first time pass without uh, um, going through a lot of uh, stress. And uh, if when I take you through the study plan, you'd understand that you need not spend a lot of time for preparation preparations. Instead, if you start working right now on a weekly basis, if you keep uh, you know working towards your goal right now, then you can easily achieve a first time pass. So that's what's highlighted in the second part of uh, today's webinar. And uh, before we commence, let me remind you about the upcoming uh, webinars and workshops which we have scheduled for you. Uh, mind you, all these webinars and workshops are uh, conducted free of charge. So uh, on a weekly basis, you can get in touch with me as well as Jared, uh, the other uh, tutor who is uh, involved with uh, the MCS uh, study program at TCS. So you can get in touch with both of us on a weekly basis um, and, uh, you know, keep track of your preparations. Uh, all these, uh, you know, webinars, as I mentioned earlier, as well as workshops are conducted free of charge. So even if you purchase from one of our competitors, that's totally fine. Um, you know, please make use of these uh, free resources, which we are providing on a weekly basis. So the second uh, webinar is happening on the 6th of Jan, uh, 2024, where I will be taking you through um, uh, a pre scene analysis. Um, our pre scene, uh, you know, consists pre scene analysis uh, sessions consists of uh, four videos. And out of these four pre scene analysis sessions, I will be uh, focusing on the first part of the pre scene. Um, and on top of that, in the second webinar, I will highlight uh, uh, what you need to do when it comes to. Um, um, you know, applying pre scene information within your answers because uh, you are playing the role of a finance manager uh, of your selected company. So in such an environment, it's of utmost importance that you bring in information from the pre scene and include it within your answers in order to gain uh, extremely good marks at your examination. So all these things will be highlighted in the second webinar. In the third webinar, which is the most important webinar out of the four webinars which we have scheduled for you, um, I will be highlighting answering and time management techniques because uh, um, if you do not know how to plan your answers or if you do not know how to develop something called an answer plan, then um, you won't gain good marks. You won't come up with well-structured answers. You'd uh, run out of time. And if you run out of time, chances of you passing your MCS exam is extremely low. Because as a senior, uh, so, sorry, as a finance manager of your chosen company, uh, if you provide half-hearted answers or incomplete answers, you're not doing your job properly. Your uh, board members to whom you are reporting will be dissatisfied with your work. So in such an environment, you'd end up failing your MCS examination. So uh, this is the most important uh, webinar. Uh, I will be highlighting answering and time management techniques and all these answering and time management techniques will be uh, you know, explained in depth by uh, taking you through a question and answer pertaining to uh, a mini mock, which we have already uploaded onto our website. So that's happening on the 13th of Jan. And in the, uh, in the fourth webinar, I will uh, uh, tell you what you need to do to uh, build a higher level of confidence because uh, as per the CMA examiner, if you are a confident student, chances of you passing your uh, exam is extremely high. So you need to be extremely confident. So I'll give you some tips pertinent to what you need to do to uh, overcome your fears and uh, build your confidence. And on top of that, 
I will also highlight what you need to avoid, the type of mistakes which you need to avoid or the shortcomings which you need to avoid in order to uh, stand a chance uh, to pass your uh, MCS examination comfortably. So all these things will be highlighted in the fourth webinar. And after that, on a weekly basis, for three weeks uh, on a continuous basis, we will keep in touch with you via the workshops, uh, the Q&A workshops. We are conducting three Q&A workshops. So in the first and the second uh, workshop, we will be uh, taking you through the answers, questions and answers uh, uh, covering F2, P2 and E2 related syllabus content so that you'd understand uh, how you are supposed to approach uh, questions pertinent to each uh, uh, a type of uh, syllabus content uh, which is covered within your examination. And on top of that, uh, if you have any questions, you can raise these concerns. We are uh, more than happy to help you guys out. And in the final Q&A, I will be uh, providing you with uh, last minute tips pertinent to what you need to get right when uh, you know preparing for your examination because uh, uh, you'd feel exam jitters uh, closer to the examination uh, because this uh, the final uh, Q&A happens uh, just uh, three or four days before your exam. So you need to have uh, or maintain a positive mindset. So all these tips will be provided in the final Q&A as well. So I, I hope um, you'd mark your calendars and uh, make sure to attend all these free webinars and workshops. And uh, on a continuous basis, we'll keep you guys informed about uh, all these webinars and workshops via our WhatsApp group as well. All right. So... Uh, let's uh, get into the technicalities pertaining to your uh, examination. So looking at the pathway to M uh, MCS, there are a set of students who are coming through the SEMA general route. So you would have done your OTQ examinations. So uh, if you are a student who is coming through the general route, you would have done your OCS exam. So you'd have um, um, an appropriate level of understanding about what SEMA case studies are how your uh, knowledge is tested and whatnot. And on top of that, since you had done your OTQ exams, you'd be thorough with theoretical elements. So you'd uh, uh, have an appropriate level of knowledge about E2, F2, and P2 syllabi, all right? And there are another set of students who are coming through the exemption routes, uh, such as the master's gateway program or the finance leadership program or well known as the FLP route. So if you are coming through the exemption route, this might be your first SEMA case study examination. So if that is the case, you have to get your bearings about um, how this uh, examination is conducted. And on top of that, you need to be uh, conversant about theoretical elements because if you lack knowledge about theoretical elements, then chances of you passing the exam is extremely low, especially pertinent to F2 and P2 syllabi. So, if you are a student who is coming through the master's gateway program, you would have done your master's uh, degree or your MSc or MBA. However, so in, if you look at these MSCs and MBAs out there, mostly the E2 related elements are covered. However, when it comes to P2 and F2, management accountancy and financial accountancy, there will definitely be gaps in your knowledge. So you need to polish up your knowledge. If you are to be in a position uh, if, if you are to pass uh, this examination comfortably. So although I'm saying these things, you need not worry because uh, we at TCS, we had developed a, a set of, uh, set of uh, study resources, especially focused on students who are coming through the exemption route. Uh, because uh, as I told you earlier, if you lack theoretical knowledge, then you cannot pass this exam. Just because you know your theory, you cannot pass this exam as well because you, you need to have uh, the appropriate level of application skills. So focusing on these two elements, theoretical knowledge uh, or providing you with theoretical knowledge as well as ensuring that uh, your application skills improve. We have developed a set of study resources. So you need not worry even if you are coming through an exemption route. So if you are coming through the SEMA general route, you are conversant with theory, you had done your OCS exam, so you are totally, you would feel comfortable with your MCS examination. Uh, on the other hand, if you are coming through an exemption route, there'll be uh, gaps in knowledge. You need to improve your application skills. However, there's absolutely nothing to worry. We've got you covered at TCS. All right, then uh, looking at uh, the examination, this is a PC-based exam. Uh, the time allocation um, in its totality is three hours. 
and your examination uh, consists of uh, four main tasks. So it's as if you are receiving an email from um, your senior finance manager or some board member. So you are playing the role of a finance manager. I'll talk about it in a while. So as a finance manager, what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to respond to um, an email which you'd receive from your senior finance manager or some other board member. So the SEMA examiner is trying to replicate a real life corporate environment because uh, as management accountants, you have to be practical. So uh, the examiner is testing whether you have uh, the appropriate set of uh, uh, knowledge as well as whether you can practically apply your knowledge considering um, a certain scenario faced by the company. So this scenario could be either uh, 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 an issue which the company faces at the moment. If, uh, if uh, the company is facing an issue, you'd have to uh, come up with appropriate recommendations to overcome the issue or else it could be a situation where the company is trying to exploit an opportunity which is uh, at its disposal. So in such an environment, again, you need to provide your recommendations or evaluations with regards to how the company can exploit this opportunity. So likewise, uh, your entire examination is divided into four main tasks. So the time allocation for each task is 45 minutes. Uh, always remember, uh, once task number one is done, you cannot go back to task number one again. So once your time is up, you'd be uh, uh, you know, directed to your next task. So once uh, the first 45 minutes are up, you'd be directed to task two. And again, you'd have 45 minutes at your disposal. So once the time is up, you'd be directed to task number three. And likewise, you cannot go back to uh, a previous task. So remember that. So that's exactly why I said, that it's of utmost importance that you manage your time appropriately because if you run out of time, you won't pass this examination. Mark my word. So all these things will be covered in the third webinar. So after attending the third webinar, and if you keep on practicing the answering and time management techniques, you'd never run out of time. You'd uh, you know, um, you know, come up with uh, well structured answers. That's the best approach to adhere to. Uh, if you want to pass your examination this time. And the pass mark is 80 out of 150 or 54%. So uh, you need not worry too much about this examination because you can easily pass. Even if you do not answer all your questions, you can easily pass. You simply need to stick to our study plan and carry out the activities which we have, uh, you know, we, which we are asking you to um, adhere to. Then if that is the case, you can easily pass your exam. All right. so. Uh, with regards to providing an overview of your examination, information is provided about a fictitious company in advance via something called a precinct document. So you would have already gone through the precinct document, which is um, applicable for uh, the February uh, uh, 2024 examination. So let me quickly show you what this precinct document looks like. So as you can see, uh, information about a fictitious company so this is a precinct which is uh, applicable to the previous sitting. Uh, so it was based on, um, you know, a company which is, which is known as Happy Whale Holidays. So uh, if you look at um, the contents covered in here, uh, the, the examiner gives you an introduction uh, into the precinct. Then uh, the examiner takes you through the industry dynamics, thereby highlighting what happens within this industry. Uh, you know, what type of, uh, you know, products or services are offered by players within this industry, uh, you know, what type of customers are there and whatnot. And on top of that, uh, then the examiner moves on to um, uh, provide you with information about your company. So you need to know what happens within your company. If not, you are not in a position to uh, provide the best type of recommendations. So all uh, different types of internal dynamics are highlighted uh, as part of the pre document. And at the very end, extracts from uh, your chosen company's annual report are provided. So uh, the SOPL, or in other terms, the statement of profit and loss, as well as the uh, SOFP or the statement of financial position, and likewise are provided at the very end of your precinct document. So as you can see, uh, you know we had uh, gone a step further and uh, evaluated the all the different type of information provided within the precinct by uh, providing you with uh, some annotations. So 
rather than going through pages and pages of information and trying to figure out which of the information you need to remember and which of the information is not too important, we've made your life easier because uh, if you look at these annotations, you would see that uh, we have provided um, an, uh, a good summary of the entire pre-scene. And whilst uh, providing a summary, whilst taking out um, the most important points or highlighting the most important points which are highlighted within the pre-scene, we have also highlighted um, uh, probable exam scenarios which can be tested based on the hints provided or the hints which are hidden within the pre-scene document. And on top of that, we have also highlighted any syllabus content which can be tested. So throughout the pre-scene document, you can see our annotations. So if you go through these annotations, you'd have, you'd gain an in-depth understanding about what happens within this industry, what your company is up to, and on top of that, uh, what happens uh, within the company in a financial sense, all right? So you need to go through the pre-scene. So the best way to understand the pre-scene is to uh, read the annotation, uh, uh, annotated pre-scene which we have provided. And on top of that, go through the pre-scene analysis videos which we have already uh, prepared for you. So there are you know, four pre-scene analysis videos in total. So if you watch all four, you'd gain an in-depth understanding about your company its industry, as well as its financial performance. And in the exam, you are required to address issues or questions relating to the managerial aspects of the company. So always remember, as a finance manager, you are located within the middle level of the organization. So any, any given organization consists of uh, three main levels or three main elements. At the very top, you get the strategic level. So that is where you get, um, you'd find the board members so these board members are involved with uh, long-term decision-making. Um, and on top of that, at the lowest level of the organization, you get the operational level. So at the operational level, you find individuals who are involved with implementing the decisions on a daily basis pertaining to what was decided by the board members of the organization. And your role, since you are at the middle of the uh, organization, your role is to uh, ensure that the individuals at the operational level carry out the plans appropriately. So your role is to provide leadership to the individuals at the operational level. Uh, your role is to communicate what's decided by the board members in an understandable manner so that uh, the, 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 the individuals at the operational level know what to do. And on top of that, you need to report back to the board members about the performance of individuals who are involved with the daily running of the company. All right, so that's what your role is. So you are required to address the issues or questions relating to the managerial aspects of the company. So you need to be a good leader. You need to have uh, you know, specific communication skills as well as you need to be, uh, you know, arrive at your own decisions as well. So you, you are supposed to play the role of a decision maker as well uh, as a finance manager within your chosen company. And um, when addressing issues or when providing your evaluations or recommendations, or in other words, when developing your answers, you are supposed to show to the examiner that you have an appropriate level of knowledge about the company and its industry. So that is exactly why I said that you have to be extremely thorough with the pre-seen document, as well as you have to be conversant with uh, the most important points which are highlighted within the pre-seen. So if you watch our four pre-scene analysis videos, and if you read the annotated pre-scene, this part is covered. You would have an appropriate level of knowledge about the company as well as its industry. And on top of that, just because you know your pre-scene document, you cannot pass this exam. The examiner is testing your knowledge pertaining to E2, P2, and F2 based on the type of questions which are thrown at you. You would understand how this is done when you attend the third webinar, which is answering technique, because as I highlighted earlier, whilst teaching you answering and time management techniques, I will also take you through the question, through a question and answer, uh, which is covered within the mini mock. Then you'd realize how E2, P2 and F2 related theoretical content are tested and what type of questions are thrown at you. And on top of that, uh, you know, you can further understand how this is done by, you know, attending our 
uh, workshops, uh, the three workshops which we have lined up for you. Okay, so just because you know your pre scene, you cannot pass the examination. Instead, you need to also know uh, E2, P2, and F2 related syllabus content. And uh, this syllabus content, you also need to know how to apply your uh, these uh, these type of knowledge when uh, developing your answers. Okay, you'd understand all these things in the third webinar. And if you attend the you know uh, the first two workshops, you'd also uh, understand how this is how how this is done. Okay, then looking at your role, you are playing the role of a finance manager. So I kept on saying this uh, on multiple locations uh, as at now. So as a finance manager, you are reporting directly to your senior finance manager or a board member, and you are supposed to provide leadership to uh, your subordinates who are located within the operational level or the lowest level of the organization. So as a finance manager, the examiner expects you to have a high level of application and practical thinking at this level. So theories are tested. So that's exactly why I constantly kept on saying that you need to be conversant with your theoretical elements which are covered under E2, F2, and P2 syllabi. And on top of that, since you are playing the role of a finance manager, I told you that you are supposed to uh, you know, be involved with decision-making. So your practical decision-making skills will also be tested. So just because you know your theory, you cannot pass the exam. Your recommendations need to make sense. Your recommendations need to be aligned with the internal dynamics of the company, the external dynamics of the company. And on top of that, your decisions need to make financial sense as well. So that's what you are supposed to, that's what your role is about as a finance manager. So you need to know your theory, your decisions, since you are involved with decision-making, uh, your decisions need to be aligned with the internal and external dynamics of the company, as well as your decisions need to make financial sense. Okay. And let's look at the to-do list. What are you supposed to do in the upcoming seven to eight weeks when uh, conducting your preparations? Okay. So first things first, you are supposed to read the annotated pre scene as I highlighted earlier, because uh, since you are playing the role of uh, finance manager within Kapka, Kapka is the company on which these times, uh, you know, um, you know, examination is based on. So you have to have an in-depth understanding about the internal as well as external dynamics of Kapka as well as its financial performance. So you have to read the uh, uh, annotated pre scene Then in order to gain an in-depth understanding about the internal as well as external dynamics of Kapka as well as uh, the financial performance, you are supposed to watch the four pre scene analysis videos so as I mentioned earlier, your pre scene document is, uh, you know, divided into four main elements and covering each element, we have, uh, you know, developed a set of four videos. So once you go through the four videos, you would know what happens within the company and whatnot. Then after you are done with it, you are supposed to practice five exam standard mock exams. So five, why five uh, mock exams? So, you know, I've uh, encountered so many students um who had just practiced one or two mock exams and uh, these individuals end up failing the exam because you cannot cover the entire syllabus via just one or two exams one or two mock exams so you have to be conversant with the entire syllabus e2 f2 and p2 related syllabus content so the best way to ensure that you have practiced all different types of questions which cover the entire syllabus is to attempt five mock exams. You cannot cover all these elements, all these theoretical content within just two or three mock exams. You need to practice five mock exams. So that's exactly what we uh, provide at TCS uh, uh, when developing the mock exams. Uh, you know, if, if you go through our mock exams, you would see that uh, there's no repetition. Um, you know, any syllabus content is not repeated twice or thrice, each and every question which uh, you would see within our mock exams is fresh and covers um, a totally different uh, syllabus content. Thereby, after you are done with, uh, if, if, if you attempt all five mock exams, it's as if you had covered the entire syllabus. So you need not worry about the type of questions uh, 
which will be thrown at you at the real exam because you had attempted or practiced mock exams covering the entire syllabus. So you need to practice five exam standard mock exams. And on top of that, you are supposed to attend the live webinars and workshops, uh, which I mentioned a while back. So um, every Saturday, there is a webinar or a workshop happening up until your examination. So make sure to, uh, 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 you know, uh, make use of uh, these uh, free resources which we are providing. And on top of that, you are supposed to refer to a set of slides. So we have, you know, developed a set of slides with the intention of uh, further improving your knowledge, further expanding your knowledge about uh, the company, its industry, as well as its uh, financial performance. So you are supposed to refer to the industry analysis slides. So uh, most students out there, after going through the pre seen document, they try to conduct their own uh, industry analysis. So you need not waste time. We had done it for you. So simply go through uh, the industry analysis slides, which we have prepared for you so that you can easily understand or you can gain further information about the uh, external dynamics or the industry dynamics of Kapka. And on top of that, uh, you are also supposed to go through the financial analysis slides. I said that, uh, uh, you know, at the very end of the pre um the financial statements of Kapka as well as its closest competitor are provided. So you need to know what happens uh, within your company as well as its closest competitor in a, a financial sense. So the best way to do it is rather than you trying to do the maths or, or you know conduct your own ratio analysis, your own horizontal analysis and whatnot, the best way to do it is by you know um, going through the financial analysis slides uh, which we have prepared for you. You'll see what these things are later on. Uh, you know, I'll explain, um, you know, what is covered within uh, these uh, different types of uh, slides, which we have prepared for you. And we are also, we have also uh, prepared a set of uh, slides highlighting the top 10 issues, uh, which highlights the uh, top 10 scenarios, which can be thrown at you at your real exam. So uh, it's going to be extremely beneficial because then you'd know uh, what type of scenarios uh, will be tested at your exam so you can be prepared uh, way before the exam to face all these issues. And on top of that, we are also providing a set of slides uh, which are good recaps of uh, all theoretical elements. So if you go through these uh, you know, uh, theory recap slides, you can easily brush up your knowledge pertaining to the theoretical elements because as I told you earlier, you have to be conversant with uh, uh, theoretical knowledge. So the best way to do it is by uh, you know going through these set of slides. Then you are supposed to watch the twenty pre-recorded master classes. So you know we have um, you know already done twenty master classes. So uh, these are pre-recorded and they are already up on our website. So uh, you know what you need to do is especially if you are coming through an exemption route, as I told you earlier, you have to be conversant with uh, theoretical elements. So you need to learn theory. And on top of that, you need to improve your application skills. You need to know how to apply theoretical knowledge considering uh, the information provided in each and every scenario. So the best way to learn theory is not by going through pages and pages of uh, your study notes or your study packs and whatnot. We have made your life uh, easy. You just need to watch the 20 master classes. Because via the 20 master classes, what we are doing is we are explaining the answers of all five mock exams. I told you earlier that when developing all five mock exams, we have made sure to cover the entire syllabus. So all uh, theoretical elements are covered within the five mock exams. So in each mock, ex mock exam, there are four tasks. So four tasks into five mock exams comes up to 20 tasks in total. So covering each and every task, we have developed a set of master classes. So in each master class, whilst highlighting uh, the, the logic behind each answer, we are also teaching you theory. So by you know watching the master class, you'd understand the logic behind each answer. At the same time, you'd learn theory. And on top of that, uh, we are also highlighting how application skills need to be uh, improved or, or um, how you are supposed to apply theoretical knowledge when developing your answers. So the best way to learn theory the, uh, and uh, the best way to improve your application skills and 
the best way to understand the logic behind each answer is to simply watch the 20 master classes which we have provided for you. So if you watch these master classes, you are achieving three things. Uh, you can forget about you know trying to learn theory because the best way to learn theory is by watching these master classes. Then you'd understand how theoretical knowledge needs to be applied within your answers as well. Okay. And and after that, you are supposed to refer to the answer plans of all five mock exams. So you would understand what these answer plans are later on. Uh, from the third webinar onwards, uh, you would understand what I'm talking about. Because uh, rather than asking you guys to go through uh, pages and pages of suggested answers, we've made your life easier. We've gone a step further. No other you know, um, um, uh, service provider is uh, giving you this service. We had developed summaries, uh, you know, covering each and every answer, which is covered within the five mock exams. So I'll show you what our answer plans look like later on. So if you go through these answer plans, you need not, you know, read through pages and pages of suggested answers. You'd easily understand the structure of each and every answer, what's covered under each and every answer. You'd easily understand the logic behind each answer. And on top of that, you'd also understand how theoretical elements are applied within each and every answer. Okay, so this is the best way to revise uh, your theoretical knowledge, improve your application skills, and closer to the exam, when you have these study summaries with you, you can easily, it's, it's as if you are going through the same mock over and over again. That's the best approach to... Uh, you know, ensure a first time pass at your MCS examination. And on top of that, you are supposed to refer to personalized tutor feedback, which we provide. So from mock uh, three onwards, uh, focused on mocks three, four, and five, we are providing personalized tutor feedback. So I said that we are, you know, providing five mock exams. So the first two mocks are there to uh, get your bearings with the answering and time management techniques because. Uh, in, in order uh, for you to get it right, you need to have some type of practice. So the first two mocks are there to get your bearings with uh, the answering and time management techniques as I highlighted earlier. So from mock three onwards, um, you would be serious. So focused on your serious work, we will be providing uh, personalized tutor feedback. You'd later on see what I'm talking about. So after you uh, receive this type of tutor feedback, uh, there's absolutely no way that you'd uh, you know fail your MCS examination because uh, via these tutor feedback, we will highlight what your shortcomings are and we will also provide uh, recommendations as to what you need to uh, do in order to avoid these shortcomings when attempting each of your mock exams in the future. All right, so this is your to-do list. You might think that you have to do a lot uh, when it comes to preparations, but uh, you know once I take you through the study plan, you'd know or you'd understand that your real responsibility is only uh, focused on attempting a mock per week. All these things are taken care of because we have developed uh, a study material with the intention of ensuring that your work is minimal. Your real responsibility is just attempting a mock per week. Everything else is handled by us at TCS. All right, then... Uh, uh, you need to also be conversant about the important dates. Um, so if you're planning to do your MCS exam in February, uh, your exam entry closes on uh, the 30th of January, 2024, which is a Tuesday. So if you are planning to do your exam in Feb, uh, you have to book your examination before the 30th of Jan. And the exams uh, are conducted from the 14th of February uh, until the 16th of February. All right, so uh, before we move on to the second part of uh, today's webinar, uh, let me quickly uh, rem uh, you know, remind you about what we offer at TCS. All right, so um, we provide uh, free content. Um, so you can you know, click on this button and uh, you know, create your own user account and check out our free content. So you know, the free content consists of uh, the recorded versions of uh, all these webinars uh, which we are conducting for you. And on top of that, you would also gain access to a mini mock, its suggested answer, and its answer plan. All right. And if you are interested in purchasing from us uh, uh, 
uh, before you uh, you know purchase from us uh, please check out our sample material to gain an understanding about the type of uh, services which we offer and uh, let me quickly you know tell you what we offer so we offer two main packages the value pack and the premium package the value pack is designed for students who had completed the you know otq examinations or in other words uh, if you are coming through the sema general route then since you are conversant with uh, the syllabus content you simply need to invest on the value package all right so what's uh, covered under the value pack if i talk about it you would uh, gain access to the recordings of all webinars the five mock exams with suggested answers the pre-seen analysis videos the annotated pre-seen the industry and financial analysis slides as well as the top top 10 likely issues the case study familiarization kit and the OTQ revision cards uh, covering E2, P2, and F2 syllabi. And you'd also have access to a tutor managed live chat. So if you have any questions, uh, you can simply type it out within the website itself. And uh, we are all, all always there to help you guys out. So the value pack is priced at 199 pounds. And if you look at the premium package, this is designed for students uh, uh, who are coming through the exemption route, such as the master's gateway program or the FLP route as well as if you failed your uh, MCS exam previously, then you have to go for the premium package because you need some uh, type of additional support. So again, uh, if you look at the premium package, uh, uh, everything which comes under the value package comes with the premium package. Additionally, you'd um, um, have access to an online mock exam platform. So when attempting each of your mock exams, all five mock exams, you can do it via our exam platform platform under exam conditions. So we have developed our you know, exam platform to be akin to the Pearson VUE system, which you'd use at your real exam. So as I told you earlier, you need to keep practicing answering and time management techniques to get it right. So the best way to do it is by attempting each mock via the exam platform, which we have prepared for you. So rather than uh, experiencing exam stress, as well as uh, experiencing shortcomings at your real exam, it's better to iron out all these issues, face all these issues way before the exam and iron out these issues before you walk into your real exam. So if you go for the premium package, you would have uh, access to the online mock exam platform. And you'd also receive one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one tutor feedback on all three mocks, mocks three, four and five so let me quickly show you the type of feedback you'd uh, receive so these are the type of feedback which we provide at tcs so as you can see on a paragraph by paragraph basis you know uh you know notations are provided thereby highlighting what's wrong with your answer and uh, what you need to do to improve further improve the quality of your answers and at the very end of each task uh, if there are certain shortcomings which we have encountered or identified, uh, we uh, have, uh, you know, provided information pertinent to these shortcomings as well. And that's exactly what you can see. So throughout um, the, um, you know, um, answer script on a, a paragraph by paragraph basis, we have provided uh, our feedback. Okay. And at the very end, uh, mark allocations are also provided so that you understand uh, what your real shortcomings are on a subtask by subtask basis okay so that's the type of feedback which we uh, provide at tcs so uh, if you go for the premium package you are in a position to understand what your real shortcomings are and what you need to do to overcome these shortcomings and uh, if you need further uh, support we are always uh, there to um, uh, help you guys out so you can contact me or jared via the whatsapp forum uh, or, or you can simply dm us as well we are always ready to um, even if, if your shortcomings are grave, we are even uh, ready to do a Zoom session with you or call you over WhatsApp, okay? And I, I was talking about uh, the set of uh, slides uh, pertaining to the industry analysis and financial analysis, which we provide. So, you know, our industry analysis slides consists of four main elements. So first things first, we will be providing an overview into your industry. And then we'll highlight the trends which affects your chosen industry because based on these trends, uh, you'd see questions which are thrown at you at your real exam. 
And we'd also highlight the challenges faced by the industry because these are the type of, uh, based on these challenges, you'd see uh, certain threats uh, which the company faces. And uh, in order to overcome these threats, you'd have to provide recommendations. And at the very end, real world examples um, are provided uh, based on a real life company so that you'd uh, understand what happens within your chosen industry um, uh, in a real sense. Okay, so that's exactly what you can see. So you can easily gain an understanding about what happens within your industry by going through this set of slides. Then the same could be said about the financial uh, analysis slides. So, you know, as I told you earlier, at the very end, uh, you'd get uh, the financial statements of your company as well as its closest competitor. So you need to evaluate these financial statements in order to understand uh, where your company stands in a financial sense. And uh, you need to compare it with the closest competitor as well. So you need not do it. We have done it for you. So as you can see, the uh, per, you know percentage changes or we have conducted, uh, conducted uh, an analysis focused on the main elements of the SOPL. And we have uh, come up with annotations so that uh, you can easily understand uh, uh, what had happened within uh, the company um, and how a company's performance had uh, affected, financial performance uh, had affected its profitability um, or, or if it's making losses, what had resulted uh, uh, or contributed towards these losses. All these things are highlighted uh, in an easily understandable manner. The same could be said about the SOFP as well. So. We have kept the annotations uh, simple so that you can easily understand what's highlighted. And at the very end, uh, ratio analysis is conducted considering your company as well as its uh, closest competitor. And again, annotations are provided or evaluations uh, have been provided so that uh, you can easily remember and understand what has happened within this company in a financial sense. So these are the uh, different type of um, you know resources you would uh, gain access to if you go for uh, the you know uh, services which we offer and you'd also gain access to if you go for the premium package you'd also gain access to the answer plans of all uh, five mock exams let me quickly show you what our answer plans look like so you know this is what i was talking about so for each and every answer rather than you having to read through pages and pages of suggested answers, we have provided you with a study summary. So once you go through these points, you can easily understand the logic behind each answer. You can easily understand how theory had been brought in within the answer with the intention of um, you know coming up with the best type of recommendations. So that's uh, what you can see throughout this. So if you look at this question, we are supposed to highlight the characteristics of debt and equity that should be considered when sourcing the funds for a certain investment. So if you look at debt, what are the pros and cons of it? You can easily understand what it is. And we have highlighted about the gearing ratio, uh, thereby uh, you know taking in or bringing in information from the pre-scene. You are supposed to do the same. And on top of that, the same um, can be said about equity, the pros and cons of it, as well as uh, you know, we have uh, related to the information provided within each and every scenario. So, you know, if you go through this, uh, you know, set of uh, answer plans, which we provide, you are in a position to easily understand the logic behind each answer, improve your theoretical knowledge as well as application skills. And you'd also gain access to the 20 master classes if you invest on the premium package. So uh, the master classes are conducted based on the answer plans, which we have provided for each and every mock. So as I told you earlier, within these master classes, we will be highlighting the logic behind each answer at the same time, teaching you theory, as well as ensuring that you improve your application skills and the premium package comes with a pass guarantee. So, uh, you know, what this pass guarantee tells you is that uh, if you end up uh, investing on the premium package yet fail the MCS exam, you'd get access to uh, the premium package one more time in your subsequent sitting free of charge. However, in order to claim the pass guarantee, you need to fulfill these uh, requirements. You need to complete all five mock exams. Without completing all mock exams, you are not in a position to cover all syllabus elements. If you're not in a position to cover all uh, of these syllabus elements, you cannot pass the exam. So simply you need to attempt all five mock exams via the exam platform. Then. Your solutions need to be original. You cannot just copy and paste answers uh, 
uh, from our suggested answers because if you do you are cheating yourself you're not uh, you know improving your answering and time management techniques so if you do not get your answering and time management techniques right there's absolutely no way that you would pass your mcs exam so you have to be true to yourself then you have to meet the performance criteria which is to uh, achieve uh, more than 40 percent for mocks three four and five why are we are why are we uh, so serious about these performance criteria because if you uh, you know practice answering and time management techniques and if you are serious about your work there's absolutely no way that you would gain less than 40 percent for each of your mocks so in order to ensure that you are serious about what you are doing when attempting each mock exam you have to be extremely serious you have to do it under exam conditions so in order to ensure that you are you know doing a good job we had uh, come up with this uh, performance criteria as well so if you fulfill all these three things all these three activities then um, there's absolutely no way that you would in uh, you know fail your mcs examination okay so that's the pass guarantee which we provide and um, we are offering a uh, hundred pound feedback uh, sorry hundred pound uh, uh, um, discount rather if you pay in full so if you pay in full the premium package is priced at uh, 649 pounds or else uh, you can pay in two installments of 374 uh, pounds each so the price is going to be 749 pounds so if you want to claim this discount simply click on this button and uh, you know purchase the premium package and all products are available until the 28th of february 2024 uh, however if you fulfill the eligibility criteria under the premium package as i mentioned earlier you would uh, gain access to the same package um, in your subsequent sitting free of charge that's the past guarantee which we provide for the premium package all right so having said that uh, let's move on to the second part of uh, today's webinar uh, so before we do that, um, if you have any questions, uh, you can raise them now. You can simply switch on your mic and talk or, uh, you know, drop us a message via our chat section. Any questions, folks? I'm going to pause the recording. All right. Thank you, folks, uh, for those questions. So I'm going to move on to uh, the study plan. So... Yeah, so this is the seven-week study plan which we have developed for the upcoming um, MCS examination. So we are in uh, the, you know, week where we have not kick-started, uh, you know, serious work. So uh, this is the pre-course week. So the study hours which you need to allocate uh, in the upcoming week is just eight hours. So you have uh, already completed the first task, uh, which is to uh, attend the first webinar then you are supposed to refer to the OTQ theory revision cards uh, in the upcoming weeks with the intention of brushing up your knowledge pertaining to theoretical elements. So even if you are coming through the exemption route, please go through these uh, OTQ theory revision cards um, um, so that uh, you'd understand uh, uh, you know, what type of theoretical elements are tested at your examination. And if you are clueless about certain uh, theoretical elements, please jot them down and uh, you'd be uh, pleased to see that each of these the theoretical elements which you are clueless about are covered under each of our mock exams as well as our master classes and then you are supposed to uh, refer to the mcs uh, uh, familiarization kit as well so that uh, you get your bearings about the technicalities pertaining to the mcs exam so this is of utmost importance to students uh, uh, who are especially coming through the exemption routes uh, if the mcs exam is your first same examination you have to go through this uh, document this consists of just seven to eight pages you can uh, you know go through the entire uh, document within just uh, 20 to 30 minutes so your main uh, um, you know requirement is to go through the otq theory revision cards in the upcoming week so once you're done with it we are moving on to week number one this is where you know things get serious so the study hours which you need to allocate uh, for the first week is again eight hours. So you are supposed to attend the second webinar pre-scene analysis. Then you'd know, you know, how or what is covered via our pre-scene analysis videos, four videos in total. So after attending the first, uh, sorry, the second webinar, you are supposed to watch the pre-scene analysis videos in the uh, first week. Then refer to the annotated pre-scene and refer to financial analysis, industry analysis, and top 10 issue slides. 
So the first week is dedicated towards the pre-seen document so that you would gain an in-depth understanding about what happens within your company. Uh, you'd also understand about the industry as well as its financial performance, uh, not just uh, the financial performance of Kapka, but its closest competitor as well. So the first week is dedicated towards dissecting the pre-seen document. So once you're done with it, we are moving on to week number two. From week two onwards, you are supposed to attempt a mock per week. So you are supposed to attempt the first mock via the exam platform. After you are done with the first mock, I want you guys to watch the four masterclasses uh, pertaining to mock number one. Then after you had gone through the four masterclasses, you would understand uh, the logic uh, of uh, each and every answer which we have prepared or, or provided. And on top of that, you'd understand, um, you know, what you, sh you should have covered within your answers. And on top of that, you'd also, uh, you know, gain an in-depth understanding about uh, the structure of each and every answer or how you are supposed to structure, uh, how, how, how you were supposed to structure your own answer. And on top of that, you'd also learn um, theory as well as improve your application skills. So you are, you know, gaining a lot uh, by, you know, checking out these uh, masterclasses. And once you're done with it, you are supposed to refer to the answer plans of mock number one. So after watching the masterclasses of mock number one, you'd understand what your shortcomings are. You'd understand uh, in which subtasks uh, you did a bad job. So focused on these subtasks, you can redevelop answer plans. Once you redevelop your answer plans, you can easily compare your answer plan to the answer plans which we have provided so that you would further improve uh, the quality of your answers. I'll you know, explain this further once I uh, you know, uh, direct your attention towards what you need to do from week four onwards. So the weekly study hours is just seven hours. So out of which your real responsibility is uh, about attempting, allocating three hours of your time and attempting um, the first mock via the exam platform, uh, the remaining time is about uh, just watching four sets of videos and referring to the answer plans. And uh, in week number three, you are so supposed to do something uh, similar to this uh, or dear to a similar approach. You are supposed to attend the third webinar in order to learn answering and time management techniques. Why I've, uh, you know, why I'm asking you guys to attempt mock number one before learning answering and time management techniques is to ensure that you really understand what your shortcomings are. So when attempting mock number one, do it on your own. You'd be clueless about what you're supposed to do. That's totally fine because as I told you earlier, the first two mocks are there to get your bearings uh, with uh, your NCS examination. So try to give your best shot when attempting mock number one. And once you attend the third webinar, you'd really understand what your shortcomings are and what you need to do to uh, overcome each of your shortcomings. So you're supposed to attend the third webinar answering technique, which is happening on the 13th of Jan. Then um, within the same week, you are supposed to attempt mock number two via the exam platform. Then once you're done with uh, attempting the mock, you are supposed to watch the four masterclasses of mock number two so that you'd understand uh, the logic of each answer. Uh, you'd uh, you know learn theory as well as improve your application skills and then refer to the answer plans of mock number two. And week four onwards, uh, things get a bit serious because um, you are, you are now by by this time you know your answering and time management techniques. You have you know applied answering and time management techniques uh, when attempting mock number two as well. You had already watched eight master classes by now. So you'd have a good understanding about what's expected or the type of questions uh, which are thrown at you at the real exam. So in week number four, you are supposed to attend the fourth webinar, then attempt, uh, you know, mock number uh, three. You know, we have made a blunder here. It, uh, it should read as attempt mock number three via the exam platform. I'll get it sorted. Uh, I'm extremely sorry about it. So, uh, you know, you are supposed to attempt uh, mock number three then watch the four master classes. Then from mock three onwards, we are providing personalized tutor feedback. So you are supposed to refer to personalized tutor feedback as well. Then refer to the answer plans pertaining to mock number three. So a similar approach needs to be adhered to 
uh, uh, when attempting mocks four and five in weeks five and six. Uh, the only difference is um, you are supposed to uh, attend the live workshops or the Q&As, uh, which will be conducted by Jared. So when attempting uh, mocks on a weekly basis, you encounter certain shortcomings or you would encounter problems. So please make sure to jot down these problems or if there are any questions in your mind, please uh, make sure to uh, jot them down so that you can raise your concerns at the Q&A sessions, which we are conducting for you free of charge. And in week number five, you are supposed to attend mock number four, watch the four masterclasses, refer to personalized tutor feedback and refer to the answer plans. So a similar approach needs to be adhered to in week number six. So by week number six, uh, you'd be done with all five mock exams. And in week number seven, this is the week before your um, you know, real examination. And when all the other students are scrambling for time, when all the other students are trying to attempt mock exams within this week or a week prior to the examination, you are relaxing. You are simply supposed to refer to the answer plans of uh, all five mocks. So it's as if you are going through study summaries of all five mock exams. So that's the best type of revision which you need to be involved with a week prior to the examination. Then you are supposed to reread the annotated pre-scene and attend the final Q&A with Jared. And you are supposed to stop preparations a day prior to the exam, sleep, eat, and rest well. So you might think that we are crazy to uh, ask you guys to uh, you know stop all work a day prior to the exam. But uh, that's the best approach which you need to adhere, uh, adhere to because uh, as I told you earlier, the CMA examiner is trying to replicate a real life corporate environment. You are playing the role of a finance manager. So if you are to function properly as a finance manager, you need to be well rested. You need to be open minded. So it's as if you are walking into office on a Monday. So if you are partying on Sunday or if you were up until late night on um, uh, uh, on Sunday, then you cannot function properly. You you won't have an open mind uh, uh, when, when walking into office on Monday. So in order to avoid all these inefficiencies, what you are supposed to do is, if your examination is on the 15th of February, you have to stop all your work by the 13th. You have to relax on the 14th and walk into your examination hall or if you are doing it at home, you know, wake up and do it with a clear mindset. So as I told you earlier, when all the others, other students are going through extreme levels of stress a week prior to the examination, you are resting, you are relaxing. So if you have a relaxed mindset, you would perform extremely well as a finance manager. You would come up with the best type of recommendations. And on top of that, you would remember the type of questions which you saw when attempting each of your mock exams, as well as you'd remember, you know, the type of answers you are supposed to provide and how to structure your answers uh, appropriately because you had practiced answering and time management techniques way prior to the exam. So do not wait until the last moment because most students out there, I know for a fact that you guys are um, extremely busy. Uh, you might be, uh, you know, uh, involved with your full-time jobs. Uh, you, you, you might be raising your kids. And on top of that, some of you might be running your own business as well. So, you know, all these responsibilities are there. However, we have developed a study system uh, taking into consideration all these responsibilities which you need to carry out on top of preparing for MCS examination. So, as you can see, um, it's it really comes down to attempting a mock per week. So, you just need to find three hours at a stretch on a weekly basis. That's the real responsibility which you need to bear. Everything else is handled by us. So let's assume you are attempting, you are in um, um, week number four and you are supposed to attempt mock number three. So, uh, you know, attempt mock number three, let's assume you uh, attempt mock number three via the exam platform on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, you are supposed to watch the master classes. By Thursday, you'd receive tutor feedback because we provide the tutor feedback within 48 hours at TCS. So if you attempt the uh, 
mock on Tuesday. By Thursday, you'd receive uh, tutor feedback. And on Friday, you'd know what your shortcomings are. And uh, since you have access to the answer plans, you can understand the subtasks in which your performance was not up to par. And you can refocus on the subtasks and redevelop answer plans. And after you redevelop answer plans, on Friday itself, you can compare your fresh answer plans with the answer plan which we provide in order to understand whether uh, the quality of your answers had improved. And towards the weekend, you can actually relax. I do not want you guys to, uh, because uh, all five days you, you might be running your business or you know working, uh, you know, leave out Saturday and Sunday to uh, spend time with your loved ones. I do not want you guys to be involved with uh, SEMA preparations during the weekend. So if, uh, during the weekend, uh, your real responsibilities uh, with regards to just attending uh, the webinars and workshops which we are conducting, which is going to take just uh, one and a half hours of your time. Other than that, you know, uh, uh, just leave uh, your Saturdays and Sundays out so that uh, you spend time with your family members. So um, let me reiterate that once more. On Tuesday, attempt the mock exam. On Wednesday, watch the master classes. By Thursday, you would receive tutor feedback. On Friday, you are supposed to redevelop answer plans, focusing on the subtasks uh, in which your performance was low. And uh, on Saturday, attend the workshop or a webinar which we are conducting. And, um, you know, you can relax on um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And again, uh, in the next or the upcoming week, attempt the next mock and likewise. So if you stick to this study technique or the study plan, you know, it's e actually easy to get everything done. You can cover the entire syllabus. You can attempt mock exams under real exam conditions. You can learn theory, improve your application skills. And uh, a week before the exam, you would be relaxing when everybody else is trying to attempt mock exams, go through their study notes. When everybody else is, uh, you know, facing a lot of pressure, you would be relaxing. So that's the best approach to adhere to. So uh, if you need any additional help, we are always there. Uh, you can raise your concerns via the WhatsApp group or on a weekly basis, we are getting in touch with you um, via the webinars and workshops which we are conducting. So if you have any concerns, you can raise these concerns uh, uh, via the WhatsApp group or the webinars and workshops which we are conducting. All right, so having said that, uh, any questions, guys? So I hope you guys understood uh, uh, what we're supposed to do in the upcoming week. So if you simply stick to our study uh, our plan, you can easily get everything done. So that's exactly what, uh, you know, the student uh, from Zambia tells us. So this student actually you know, came through the exemption route, landed at uh, the MCS examination. The student had not done the OCS examination previously, so uh, came through the master's gateway, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, enrolled with us 10 days before the exam and still ended up uh, passing the uh, MCS exam comfortably. Um, so we provided uh, with a revised study plan focused on 10 days uh, um, uh, for the student. However, I'm not asking you guys to <laughs> wait until the last 10 days, uh, you know, start your preparations now itself uh, so that you'd have enough time to relax uh, closer to the exam. All right. Uh, any questions? I'm going to pause the recording. All right. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for those questions. So let me quickly remind you about our pass rate, which we, uh, you know, achieved for the August 2023 sitting. We achieved uh, an 89% pass rate for MCS. And as you can see, uh, as per the student, uh, the student, uh, you know, started or enrolled with us just 10 days before the examination and ended up passing the MCS exam. And the student uh, came through the exemption route, the master's gateway program and uh, she landed directly at uh, the MCS exam. Although she was clueless about certain theoretical elements within 10 days by watching the master classes and attempting all of our mock exams, uh, she was uh, able to pass the exam. So I'm, I'm not asking you guys to wait until the last moment because uh, as per the study plan, which I showed you, you are supposed to start preparations now itself. 
uh, but um, you know you can see how easily an individual can pass the MCS exam if they uh, utilize our study resources. All right, and if you want to contact us, you can uh, you know uh, you know contact us via our website, which is www.studyattcs.com, or you can email us via info at studyattcs.com or drop us a message via WhatsApp, which is 7898464196. And I invite you guys to follow us on our social media handles, uh, especially uh, uh, TikTok. And, uh, you know, the recorded versions of uh, these webinars will be uploaded onto our YouTube channel as well. Please uh, make sure to subscribe our channel so that you'd uh, constantly uh, be kept notified about uh, uh, the videos which we upload. So uh, especially if you look at the TikTok uh, handle, um, you know, uh, we have uh, developed three videos via, uh, which can be accessed via TikTok. Um, so these three videos uh, covers the entire pre-seen document. So as I told you earlier, as the finance manager of this company, you have to be conversant about the internal and external dynamics as well as the financial performance of your uh, chosen company. And you need to remember the most important points which are highlighted within the pre-scene. So we have made your life easier. We have developed three, uh, you know, uh, TikTok videos. Uh, the time um, uh, duration of each video is just uh, one and a half to two minutes. So uh, in, in its totality, if you look at uh, the time allocation for all three videos, it's somewhere around uh, uh, seven to nine minutes. So within seven to nine minutes, if you keep watching these three TikTok videos on a daily basis, you'd keep reminding yourselves constantly about the most important points which are highlighted within the pre-scene. So you, you need not do anything else to, you know, memorize uh, the in important information which appears within the pre-scene document. Simply watch the three TikTok videos on a continuous basis until your examination. So... This, the, these type of services are provided free of charge. No other service provider is, uh, you know, uh, offering you this type of support. So make sure to uh, utilize uh, uh, the resources which we provide free of charge. So make sure to go, you know, um, you know um, and, 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 you know, be part and parcel of our TikTok handle. So having said that, uh, the concluding thoughts uh, is to approach MCS as an opportunity to learn rather than an exam to pass. So having said that, it brings us to the end of uh, the first webinar. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, if you have, uh, if, 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 uh, if you have any, uh, if, if you have any friends who missed out on this webinar, um, you know, they can gain access to the recorded version via our YouTube channel, as well as via our website. So thank you very much for joining in. I hope you attend the upcoming webinar, which is happening in the, now uh, in, in in next saturday uh, and i will be conducting a pre-scene analysis in the second webinar and i'll also highlight um how to improve your pre-scene application skills and whatnot so thank you very much good night and take care